Do you know what I like to do when somebody asks me a question? I like to look at some baseball cards. Okay, this is for you, Batmania777. Uh, thank you for all your support. Uh, and to answer your question, what you have there are uh, 1909 to 1911 silks. They were distributed similar to baseball cards, same idea, same concept, same distribution. They were folded up and put in with the cigarettes. Now, the conventional wisdom has always been that there are two distinct colors, white and colored. But I have, uh, I have various different colors here, and I'm not sure if they just faded over time um, or if there were multiple colors, because according to the ones I have, it looks like I have probably five, five different colors. Uh, so they used the same image if I'm not mistaken, for all of them that they used on the T205 cards. Here's the Ty Cobb. And I like to use these old school things because these, these Lucites, uh, they just, man, they uh, present so well. And it's not like you can damage the silk. So I like to use these for these kinds of things and stamps and flat, you know, papery items uh, sometimes. Because I just think they look really fantastic. Very museum quality look to them. And here's the Three Finger Brown. Here's the Christy Mathewson. Now, as you can see, these are white. Those three. So, let me show you. This could be white. But this is a Fred... Fred Clark, but it's a little different color. And here I have a Fred Clark that is white for sure. So you can see the difference. But then we have this, this is Rube Marquard. And you can see that's almost like, almost like a purplish hue or something. And then uh, here we have a Johnny Kling. And you can see that's uh, even a different color. And I don't like this holder because um, it, it, it has these wrinkles in the bag inside the holder. So you can't really see the card good. Might have to crack it out of there. Um, sometimes the grading companies just do a terrible job with presentation. And you can see. Might have to break that baby out and put it in a loose site. But uh, those are the 1911 to, or 1909 to 11, they believe, and they don't know a whole lot about these, um, silks. And you showed a black swamp card, uh, sw black swamp find card. Uh, so I thought I'd show you mine. I have a, a three finger brown from that find. If you're not familiar with that find, uh, some family members were going through the attic and their grandfather had an old store and they f discovered this box and it was filled with pristine baseball cards and they thought they were fakes or reprint. They didn't know what they had and they uh, sent it off. I forget who to who, some expert, some auction house or something. And it was determined that they had un, um, unissued or un cards that weren't given out and i guess this guy for his store they must have given them to him for promotional purposes and he just had a whole box of them and they were all like i said in pristine condition i mean they graded down to i think a six uh and there were many tens uh, several tens several nines and uh they auctioned them off a little bit at a time because there were so many they were going to flood the market with high grade ones and so like if you just paid you know a whole boatload of money for a seven Hannes Wagner, and then you find out that there's 12 more nines and tens out there, you'd be pretty upset because uh, it, it totally disrupted the pops. Uh, but anyway, that's uh, that should answer your question. Uh, as always, thanks for watching.